His estate is calling Leaving Neverland a tabloid character assassination and is now suing HBO. It's a one-sided, one-point-of-view documentary. Howard Weitzman is an attorney for the Jackson estate. Part of the thinking is we've already heard Michael's side of the story, the story, and his side has always been, I didn't do this. I mean, that's just absurd. You, you have a situation where these accusations are made by two people who have testified differently under oath. The way I judge credibility is have these people lied before? The answer is yes. So we were at the ranch with all his family. Michael didn't look well. Um, he looked very sick. His kids were there. Everybody was there. Like his mind was just in a, in a whole other place. I remember all of us sitting at dinner and Paris, his daughter, just wanting to, to uh, wanting her dad's attention, kind of like pulling on his arm and pulling on his fingers and daddy, daddy, daddy. And he was, I mean, he just, he wasn't there. I remember that just feeling really sad. What if he loses? What if he goes to jail? You know, and these are the last couple of times that they see their daddy, you know, which built my conviction even that much more to, uh, to save him. I think that definitely helped Wade to go into the, you know, courtroom feeling, you know, that he wanted to support Michael.
as far as making anybody testify, I, I would I would love for uh, Wade Robson to show me the subpoena he never got. Mm. I simply called him and and told him, listen, we need to get you up there by such and such a date. I was in regular communication with his sister who testified. I was in regular communication with his, his mother who testified. Um, so when I, again, when I hear some of these allegations, I just, the, I'm trying not to say the stupidity level, the absurdity level is insane. Motions in limine are to prevent things coming in that are irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Safe Chuck, there was a declaration filed, I think, sometime in 93 or 94, 95, whatever, somehow in connection with the Jordy Chandler matter. And Safe Chuck had signed a declaration saying that, yeah, nothing happened. Michael never did anything, blah, blah, blah. He no longer had contact with Michael. And so Safe Chuck, for purposes of the trial, was a what we would call a non-entity. Mm -hmm. Nothing the judge had already ruled, nothing regarding Safe Chuck was going to be allowed. Nothing was going to be discussed. Um, no evidence one way or the other mm -hmm. was going to be brought in. Safe Chuck, for purposes of this trial, didn't exist, plain and simple. So when I hear these stories that Evie Tavashi, who was Michael's personal assistant for 20 some odd years, was calling Safe Chuck repeatedly and begging him to testify. The it's not even absurdity. The stupidity of that comment is beyond belief. Simply based on the fact that it's not up to Evi Tavashi to decide who's going to testify. It wasn't even up to Tom. It wasn't even up to Snedden at that point. At that point, the judge had already long since ruled, well over seven eight months before, that Safe Chuck was a non-entity. Have a nice day. So Safe Chuck was not even a part of the trial. Had absolutely nothing to do with it at all. Other than maybe whether or not he was watching it on TV, that's as close as he got to it. And that wow. I couldn't answer. He was never, ever, 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 ever an entity. As far as him, all of these allegations are so far down the road that those phone records don't exist anymore. Safe Chuck was living out, I think, in the 805 area code, which is outside of, the, of LA County. And he was living in another area code from uh, from Evie, so they would be on phone records someplace. But they're not producing any phone records, are they? You know, again, you just make the assertion and so what?
very good of him. But Jackson him. was acquitted. And, you know, it seems to me that when you look at this in totality, mm. you've got other boys like Macaulay Culkin, uh, Corey Feldman has come out strongly yesterday. Mm. And Corey Feldman made the, I think, quite interesting point. He said, look, serial paedophiles, mm. when they're around young boys, in this case, they'd abuse them all. That historically, that was be if they were, had access to young boys, they'd do mm. it. Corey Feldman and Macaulay Culkin tell a completely different story of their experience with Jackson, which mm. is completely almost identical, right to the point of abuse. And mm. they say, in both their cases, no abuse ever happened. Both the people that you relied on for your mm. documentary both said exactly the same thing before. Mm. And as we saw from the uh, Jackson nephew yesterday, they're trying to get millions of dollars. Well, no, they're millions. trying to get justice in, in, through the courts, which is... But also pretty... money. And, and the problem with this... But are they thing... trying to get money? Well, Jordan Chandler, for example, that case, I covered that extensively at the time. I think Jackson ended up paying him $22 million. I mean, this is a huge payday, potentially, for anyone who can establish they were victims. And I'm not questioning them. I don't know the truth. Mm. I'm questioning you as the director, because you never went to the Jackson family before you... We don't make any allegations about the Jackson family. So why would I... Why would well, you I make an allegation them? that Michael Jackson's a paedophile. Yeah, so I make allegations about Michael, but Michael's dead. But he's dead. And I've put his rebuttals, yeah. his denials in the film. So, so the devil's advocate would say, well, I, OK, the guy's dead, mm. he can't respond to this. He but Wade, Wade Robson and James Safechuck are not dead. No, but the person you're accusing mm. is. And yet, again, I say, other than all the evidence which was for the court cases mm. in which Jackson was finally acquitted, did you unearth any new hard evidence which says that Michael Jackson's a paedophile? Because right now, his whole reputation is being completely trashed I mean, by to, this documentary. To talk I don't about, know the answer, I'm just asking. To talk about hard evidence, you know, soiled underwear 20 years later, mm. I'm sorry, that's, you know... In, in paedophile cases, mm. if, you, if this were tried in a court, it would be the evidence of, of these two very but credible But it, it was tried in court, though. Well, the Wade Robson and James Safechuck were never... No, because they were giving evidence in support exactly. of Michael and, Jackson. Exactly, and that, that's what's at the heart of this, and that's mm. what people, I hope, will understand by watching this but documentary. It's your conviction mm. of Michael Jackson's guilt that I'm fascinated by as a yeah. director. Yeah. This has got huge global attention. Mm. It's having a catastrophic effect on Jackson's reputation, on his family, mm. his young kids, apparently, are having terrible trouble with all this, as you would expect, and so on. So enormous repercussions. Yeah. And at the heart of it, you've got two people who gave evidence to support Jackson and who are suing the Jackson estate for hundreds of millions of dollars, mm. which, you know, always adds a slightly uncomfortable tone to the No, they're, they're trying to get justice through the courts, which and is a, hundreds which is a of regular millions thing of dollars. to do. Which I mean, is damaging. You, you go to court, mm. you, Michael, unfortunately, isn't alive, because if he were, I think there'd be a criminal trial, but... You know, well, well, so can you but there was a criminal mm -hmm. trial. Not of the, not with these two. No, the but thing, these two, these the two. The thing you have to understand about child sexual abuse is yeah. that very often a very strong bond forms between the predator and the child, mm -hmm. and that bond can last for many, many years, and that's what's happened in this but case. The enormity of of the allegations you're making mm. cannot be understated. I mean, you would accept that, mm. and you're you're basically calling Michael Jackson a serial paedophile. Yes, and my only question is that the, the emphatic denials from so many other people about this mean that there is a question mark here. And I, I again, just say to you, are you 100% sure that your word of these two people mm. is enough to justify calling Michael Jackson a serial paedophile? I think, you know, I think the, the corroborating evidence around their accounts is very strong. I've, I've looked at that. I think if you watch the film and you see how mm. their family, those relationships last. I mean, I think the average age Why of... do you believe these guys so emphatically? That's what I'm really curious about. Because, I, I mean, I, again, accounts... I'm, not, I'm not saying either way. Why right? should I we want... not believe them? Well, because I, I do think there's a real issue right now with this supposition that my truth is the truth. Mm. And it's been going on for the last year and a half since the start of Me Too and Time's Up and so on. And we've just seen a case in America of this guy, Jussie Smollett, who was the Empire star, mm. who claimed he'd been the subject of a racist, homophobic attack in the street and by, by Trump supporters. Mm. And it turned out he invented and staged the whole thing, allegedly. Yeah, but um, what's that going to do with this? Because my point being that everyone rushed to believe my truth 
truth in that case. Mm. And it turned out the the truth was a very different thing. So my, again, here, this is my truth as told by two people mm. who... Went, and their families. And their families, yeah, I agree. Mm. But all of whom you wouldn't dispute have a vested potential massive financial interest. That's the estate story. That's your... your is that not true? Your, well, you're swallowing the, the Michael Jackson line, hook, line and sinker. No, no, I don't have a Michael you Jackson are. line. You are. I, well, because, is it not true they're trying to... This isn't sue. about money. This isn't right. what the Michael so Jackson... So they're not suing for money? Well, they're suing for justice and money. Does how do you, how money? do you know you've won in a civil suit? Uh, what's the what's so they the do penalty? want money though. What's the penalty in a civil do suit? Do they want money? I don't know. You should ask them. Well, you know, you know the answer. No, they want justice. They're not fussed about the money. Right. I don't know what they do with the money when they get it. But, um, but they're expecting, if they are successful, to win hundreds of they're, millions. They're of entitled as citizens to use the court. <laughs>